If the launches of eight different Chinese rockets in 20 days did not blow up your mind, let's see if you can still keep your feet on the ground after you hear about Zhu Qie Two and Hyperbola Two. I know you have a lot of question marks, so let me catch you up on two pieces of key news you might have missed if you were vacationing on an exotic island. First, China now has the world's first methane rocket that can actually deliver the goods, and second. Vertical takeoff and landing of a Chinese commercial rocket with a recycled first-stage booster has been verified. Methane propellant is what major global players like SpaceX and Blue Origin dream about at night. For example, Starship's first stage, also known as the Super Heavy Booster, is powered by methane and liquid oxygen. But Starship has not made it to orbit yet. Things are getting exciting, isn't it? And on the menu today, we have China's reusable rockets, their current status, the top players, and what to expect in the coming years. Hi there, I'm Chenchen, and this is Tech Please. And you may put on your spacesuits now. Elon Musk's reusable rockets, exemplified by the triumphs of Falcon 9 with its numerous successful recoveries, is now dominating the global space market. Their unparalleled cost-effective launches have left competitors set eyes on this lucrative domain, and China, with significant breakthroughs, is emerging as a key player in this sector. So, first thing first, here's a list of top players in China. In no specific orders, though, and their latest reusable rockets they are working on. Now, if I left out anyone, please leave a comment and let me know. Also, take a screenshot for safekeeping. It'll come in handy if you plan to go rocket shopping for Christmas or New Year. No online deliveries, though. All right, time to take off. First in line, we have Landspace Zhu Qie Two. It is the world's first methane-propelled rocket to fly into orbit in July. It successfully delivered three satellites in early December. Although it is a single-use rocket, its propulsion system, engines powered by liquid methane and liquid oxygen, is what we're interested in here. Because liquid propellant is a must when you start thinking up a reusable rocket. Think of it as adding fuel to your car, as opposed to lighting up a car with a bunch of heavy-duty Roman candles. Running on fuel allows you to control speed and even switch. On and off when needed, but when it comes to fireworks, fast is the only way forward, and the thrust stops when they burn up and fell off. For these liquid propellants, manufacturers can choose from kerosene and methane, or simply liquefied natural gas (LNG) and liquid hydrogen. SpaceX Falcon 9 adopts the kerosene-based propulsion system. It's a more matured technique, but. Methane apparently has more advantages. It's cheaper, cleaner, and burns more efficiently. Remember, we are making reusable rockets to cut down costs in hopes that space travel one day will be as easy as international travel. So fuel costs, as well as vehicle cleaning and maintenance, all needed to be factored in. It is widely recognized in our space field that it is the most ideal propellant for the reusable launch vehicle. So that is the reason why developing a methane-based engine is so important.、Uh, moreover, you see that this time the Zhu Qie Two already achieved two launches, which means that the launch vehicle itself is already very, very practical and can meet the requirement for the commercial market. So this is also a very, very important feature. Uh, you see that to achieve a reusable launch vehicle, we have so many technologies to break through. One thing is to、uh, have a vertical liftoff and a vertical landing. That is something iSpace has demonstrated in the past two months. It first recovered the first stage booster of its Hyperbola 2 methane rocket after a flight of 178 meters. Later on, after some adjustments, the same booster went over 300 meters before being successfully recovered. For this process. You see that the control itself is very, very complex. It requires an engine can, which can adjust its thrust in a very wide range. 
both can achieve the goal in the future for uh, reducing the cost or achieve a reusable launch vehicle. Uh, it is a matter of choice. It appears it might be a while before a full-size rocket can enter orbit and recover its first-stage booster. Till then, let's keep our hopes up and our fingers crossed and our space seats ironed.